when I tell you I am obsessed with broccoli, I am not kidding. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz and if you haven't been here before, you might not know that last year I tried Weight Watchers and I lost 20 pounds on Weight Watchers. And since then I am no longer on Weight Watchers because I got to the weight that I wanted to be at and now I am just working at maintaining that weight. I've previously shared a vlog of what I eat in a day when I'm trying to maintain this weight, which you can watch and I'll link it here. And I've also shared a vlog of when I was going through Weight Watchers and how that was. And so I'll share that here as well. But today I want to take you on a tour through my kitchen slash pantry so you can see the foods that I eat that are healthy, but also maintain a good balance of like junk food, to be honest. Just a good mix of health, fun, taste, freshness, junk, all of that that keeps me on track to stay at this weight. So come along into my kitchen and let's take a tour. And if you haven't seen my apartment tour already, I will also link that here. Welcome to my kitchen where pretty much no magic happens because I don't really cook. I mostly survive off of leftovers and very, 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 very easy meals. I feel very like Vanna White here. Welcome to my fridge. Come on in. So you will see that here I have coconut milk, I have almond milk. I always have these with me um, for making smoothies in the morning. I don't drink regular milk. I didn't really drink regular milk back before I was eating healthy either, but I did have it in cereal and now I sadly never eat cereal anymore. So almond milk and coconut milk it is. Next up, I have some chicken that I actually cooked myself. I did this myself and that is to go into my salads every day. I've got a ton of grapes here and here. They're my favorite snack. Lately, I have been also putting them into my salads and it has made them really yummy. Very highly recommended. Um, and then I have some cooked broccoli as well. I am obsessed with broccoli. I will eat broccoli every single day. I can eat it multiple times a day. I just think it's delicious and amazing and I always have broccoli. And at the top here, I just have a couple of different salad dressings from restaurants. And then I have some Greek yogurts back here, which I don't eat that often, but every now and then I'll get a taste for it. And then most importantly, I have a tub of cookie dough and I have a spoonful of cookie dough after lunch, like every day, um, just one spoonful. I just need something sweet after lunch. This is what does it for me. I never bake cookies. I just eat the dough straight out of the tub and I don't believe in salmonella and so far it hasn't gotten me, so. Next, I always have eggs on hand. Sometimes in the morning, I'll just really quickly whip up an omelet that has spinach, cheese, and tomatoes in it. Then I have this meal that I got from Publix. Haven't tried it yet, but Publix sometimes has these little like grab and go meals that you just microwave and somebody already cooked them for you. It's amazing and it's better than like lean cuisines or anything like that. This is a balsamic glazed grilled salmon with orzo verde pesto and sun dried tomatoes. Delish, sounds so good. And my fridge is beeping because it's been open too long. All right, next I have some leftovers here. This is from dinner last night at a restaurant. This from dinner the previous night, some pasta. My general rule with food when maintaining my weight is breakfast and lunch. I stay pretty strict. I have certain things that I like to eat for breakfast and lunch that I know are healthy so then I can ball out at dinner. I don't mean ball out like eat huge amounts of food. I just can order whatever I want. I keep portion control. I'm not going crazy, but I can have like a bowl of pasta for dinner and I feel fine and I know I'm not going to gain weight from it because I know that I eat healthy for lunch and for breakfast. Being more strict with breakfast and lunch has really given me the freedom to eat what I want for dinner and I feel like that's where I find balance. It's different for everyone but for me that's what works for me. Um, next I always have a salad mix and spinach. Um, can someone tell me 
For some reason, when I moved to Florida, I don't know if it's this fridge or if it's just the Florida humidity, but the salad mix that I get gets wilted so quickly. That's why there's a paper towel in here to try and like suck up extra moisture. If anyone knows how to prevent this, if it's a Florida thing, if it's a fridge thing, if it's a Publix thing, please let me know. But I always have that on hand for my lunch salads. And then always have spinach on hand for omelets, my smoothies, my salads. I put spinach, I'll put it in anything. I'm like a three-year-old, you have to hide the veggies from me sometimes, so I just hide this in my food. Next up, I'll go into the drawer here. I have this um, egg wrap. Sometimes I will make a little egg wrap in the morning. Again, fridge beeping. Sometimes I'll make a little egg wrap in the morning and I'll put like eggs, maybe some ham, cheese in there. Delicious. Here I have ham that goes in those egg wraps. And then everything else in here is just cheese. Love cheese. Put it in my salads, my eggs, sometimes just snack on it. Can't get enough cheese. Delish. And then in my vegetable drawer, which you can't quite see, there's just uh, more broccoli. When I tell you I am obsessed with broccoli, I am not kidding. All right, moving over to the door. Most of this stuff I honestly don't eat. It's from when my parents were here and they buy all the condiments, but I'll pick out the things that I do use. If you know me, I am a very plain eater. I was plain before I went on Weight Watchers. I'll be a plain eater the rest of my life. I don't like spices, sauces, all of that. Like. Just give me plain rice, I'm happy. Um, but this is the salad dressing that I eat every single day. It's Ken's Steakhouse Light Sweet Vidalia Onion. It is so good. Is it healthy? No, but I only use a little bit on my salad. It makes salad bearable, so totally worth it. Then of course I have ketchup, soy sauce that I'll use in like rices and different recipes. And that's pretty much it. You may notice I do not have any alcohol. I don't drink. I should say I don't drink probably 95% of the time. Maybe once or twice a month, I'll have a drink at dinner if I'm out to eat or something like that. But other than that, I've cut alcohol out of my life, not just for health reasons. Um, I just think alcohol, think of a time, can you think of one experience in life that has been improved by including alcohol? Probably not. So I've decided if it's something that doesn't improve life, why keep doing it? So I've cut alcohol out, except for every now and then, you know, just to feel fancy and have a taste of it at dinner. The only thing that I do drink sometimes is these sparkling ices. They have zero calories, zero sugar, blah, 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 blah. Oh, sorry, they have five calories. If that's, if that's a big deal to you, they have five calories, but I haven't had soda actually in seven years. So even before I was healthy, um, but sometimes I'll have a sweet tooth and that is what I'll have. So that is the fridge. Let's move on to the freezer here. All right, in the freezer, I have some extra butter, obviously for cooking and whatnot. Um, I have a bowl of ice that I use for icing mosquito bites because I live in Florida and I get fresh mosquito bites pretty much every day. I also have a loaf of frozen bread in here. I don't eat bread often except at restaurants where they bring it out before the meal. Every now and then I'll have like an avocado toast or peanut butter toast, so I have bread on hand in the freezer if I need it. Then I have a bunch of frozen fruit, which I use for my smoothies, um, strawberries, which I buy and cut up, mangoes, blueberries, all the good stuff. Then I also have some riced veggies, rice cauliflower, rice cauliflower and broccoli. I will put like chicken and vegetables and soy sauce in a dish with this. Very good, very delicious. And then at the bottom here, I will pull out meat. I have ground beef for like spaghetti or meatballs. Salmon, I love salmon. It's one of the few things that I know I can actually cook well. These teriyaki and pineapple meatballs are from Costco. They are so, so good. Cannot recommend them enough. You just heat them up. This is dinging at me again. And then some frozen chicken um, for whatever chicken dishes I want to make. And that is the freezer. But moving on to the pantry, this isn't really pantry, it's countertop, but these are some 
I guess they're fruits and veggies. Is it tomato a fruit or a vegetable? I always forget. Whatever. So I have some peppers to use in different recipes. Always have avocados for salad and avocado toast. Bananas for my smoothies and for snacking. And then tomatoes. I love the Campari. Campari. I don't know how you say it. Tomatoes. They are the best in salads and omelets and everything. Look how healthy I look holding this. Should that be the screenshot? All right, cabinet pantry time. Let's take a look. So in here on top, I have my snacks. Don't ask why snacks and junk food is at the top. I don't have an answer for you. But double stuffed Oreos are just something that I cannot give up in my life. To me, there's no point in living if you can't have double stuffed Oreos. I have one every day at 8 p.m. No joke, it is a life routine. It makes me happy, don't judge me. And then M&Ms, I eat M&Ms every single day. I have for years and years. Again, not a ton, just like a handful after dinner, need them. I also have in here craisins that I put in my salads and then protein that I put in my smoothies. Supposedly it's supposed to make you more full. Haven't experienced that yet, but I don't know. People on Instagram say it's good. And then a snack I'm obsessed with is these original goldfish. You might think original goldfish are the cheesy ones. They're not. They are plain. They're just like lightly salted. They are so good. And I don't know if they're healthy. I don't really care. They just seem healthy and there's not much to them. So I just will have this as a snack every now and then. And back there is a bunch of extra coffee and sugar and stuff like that. And down here I have these pita chips, which again, not particularly healthy. I have them in regular and this Mediterranean kind. They're just really good. And they kind of curb my bread cravings. Pastas, we have thin spaghetti that's got hidden veggies because I'm five years old. And then this cauliflower pasta as well, which is really good actually. Got some minute rice and then peanut butter for peanut butter toast and then some random like sauces and stuff back there. And then down here I have bags of popcorn. Popcorn has definitely been my go-to snack over the past couple of months. You'll see it's pretty healthy, only 47 calories per cup. Again, I don't go crazy with this. I just have a little bit to satisfy a craving. This is great on the beach or by the pool. Love popcorn. And that's it. Thank you for joining me on my tour of my refrigerator slash pantry. I would love to know if you are doing Weight Watchers or if you have done it in the past or if you're thinking about doing it. Let me know what your staple foods are in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks.